Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update January 4th, 2022. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. This is episode 482 and that's the rundown. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In today's episode, Lighter and Princess releases new pictures. Vin Zhang and Janice Wu film a new drama. The top 8 Chinese costume dramas that I think will blow up this year. And Xiao Chan writes a letter to his ace troops character. But first, here's what's recently premiered, two dramas for today and yesterday. As We Wish is a modern drama starring Yin Tao and Sun Yizhou and it premiered on January 3rd. The two stars play a married couple that faces challenges in their career and family lives. It's slated for 31 episodes and is available on YouTube, no English subs at the moment. And lastly, Modern Day Dynasty is a modern drama starring Julian Chung and Tavia Young and it premiered earlier today. Featuring a cast led by Hong Kong actors, it uncovers the dark secrets and machinations within a generationally wealthy family. It's been a while since I've seen a Julian Cheung drama. The last one was Triumph in the Skies Season 2 back in 2013. And it was oh so memorable, not just because it was all the rage, but also because I was actually trying to become a cadet pilot at the time. Didn't quite work out, but hey, now I've got this channel, I've got you guys, and I'm happy. Anyway, Modern Day Dynasty is slated for 30 episodes and is available on Yuku, no English subs at the moment. And that's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, Reset has confirmed its premiere date. Reset is an upcoming modern suspense drama starring Bai Jingting and Angel Zhao and they've confirmed a January 11th premiere. They released a bunch of new character posters and also a trailer which can be viewed on YouTube. It tells the story of a game designer played by Bai Jingting and a college student played by Angel Zhao who both die in a bus explosion but wake up to find themselves stuck in a time loop, living the same day over and over again, hence the title Reset. It is slated for just 15 episodes and will premiere on Tencent. I'll update again on where to watch with English subs after it premieres. Moving on, Lighter and Princess has an update. Lighter and Princess is an upcoming modern drama starring Arthur Chen and Zhang Jingyi, and on December 31st, they released their first batch of character posters. The drama tells the story of a bad boy coding genius played by Arthur Chen and a goody two-shoes student played by Zhang Jingyi. The two meet in university and strike up a friendship that eventually leads to a romance despite their different societal standings. They hit a roadblock when he is sent to jail for an accidental crime, but she promises to wait for him. The drama started filming at the end of last September and is still ongoing. And lastly for drama news, Vin Zhang and Janice Wu have started filming a new one. San Fen Ye, literally translated as Three Dividing Lines, is an upcoming modern romance drama starring Vin Zhang and Janice Wu and they held their booting ceremony on December 30th. Based on a novel of the same name, the drama tells the story of a couple of schoolyard friends played by Janice Wu and Vin Zhang who reunite as adults. She is now in the finance field and he in aerospace. More updates on Lighter and Princess and three dividing lines as they provide them. And that's it for drama news. Moving on, here's a segment I call the top 8 Chinese costume dramas that I think will blow up this year. So I've covered these dramas quite a bit, all the way from their announcements to their bootings and wraps and whatever updates they may have. So if you have followed my channel for quite a while, you'd be familiar with them or at least have heard of them. Assuming they do premiere this year, here are the top 8 costume dramas that I think will light up streaming platforms in 2022. Number 8. Mirror Twin Cities starring Li Yifeng and Yuki Chen Li Feng is a Sea Kingdom descendant whose mission is to rescue his people from slavery. Yuki Chen is a crown princess whom he falls in love with. Mirror Twin Cities is rumored to premiere sometime this month actually. I'll keep you guys posted on that. 
Number 7, Immortal Samsara, starring Yang Zi and Cheng Yi. Yang Zi plays a lotus fairy who meets a Taoist master played by Cheng Yi. They later discover that they shared a romance hundreds of years ago in their past lives. If Immortal Samsara is Yang Zi's next drama to premiere, it'll be her first costume drama since the wildly popular Ashes of Love in 2018. Number 6, Love Like the Galaxy, starring Liu Wu and Zhao Lusi. Zhao Lusi portrays an intelligent young girl who acts a fool in front of her scheming aunt to protect herself. She meets the emperor's adopted son, played by Liu Wu, and gets involved with his political assertions. Love Like the Galaxy will be a reunion of the two stars who also starred in The Long Ballad. Number 5, Who Rules the World, starring Yang Yang and Zhao Lusi. Yang Yang plays a tender and honorable prince who has an alter ego who's shrewd and conniving. Zhao Lusi plays a young princess who seemingly doesn't have a care in the world, but her alter ego concerns herself with matters of the pugilistic world. Number 4, Imperial Cuisine, starring Wu Jingyan and Xu Kai. Wu Jingyan is a chef who uses her culinary skills to rise up the ranks of the imperial kitchen. Xu Kai is the emperor's grandson whom she meets and falls in love with. The drama marks a reunion of the two actors who starred in 2018's The Story of Yanxi Palace, which was the most Googled show on earth that year, despite there being no Google in China. Number 3, The Blue Whisper, Seasons 1 and 2, starring Del Raba and Ellen Ren. Del Raba plays a princess who is a talented demon master. She has the ability to control demons. Ellen Ren plays a shark demon who is sent to her to be tamed. The Blue Whisper series is a collaboration between two stars who absolutely slayed it in 2021. Del Raba starred in You Are My Glory and Ellen Ren in One and Only and Forever and Ever. Number 2, Legend of Anle, starring Del Raba and Simon Gong. As the titular Anle, Del Raba's character seeks vengeance after her family is massacred. She assumes a different identity to infiltrate the palace, but is captivated by the crown prince, played by Simon Gong, and his affection for the people. And number 1, The Longest Promise, starring Xiao Zhan and Ren Ming. Xiao Zhan is the aloof Prince Shiying of the Kongshan Kingdom. Ren Ming is his disciple, and their master-disciple relationship eventually develops into a forbidden romance. So there it is guys, the top 8 Chinese costume dramas that I think will blow up in 2022. That is again, if they do premiere. And I want to give this segment a quick epilogue, and it's just to say that the costume drama that I am most looking forward to this year is actually not on the list just now. The Wind Blows from Longxi, starring Cheng Kun and Bai Yu. And not that I don't think the drama will blow up, I'm just not as sure. From what I've seen from the trailer, it could be really good, like drama of the year good. Or if it's not done well, could be really boring. I'm hoping for the former. Which costume dramas are you most looking forward to in 2022? Let us know in the comments section below, and let us know if you think I missed any. Alright, celebrity news is next, but before we get to that, a word on this video's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. It offers creative classes that cover a wide range of topics like photography, cooking, and language, and they're designed to fit your schedule and skill level. They're always launching new premium classes, and there are no ads. I checked out Katrina Lee's Super Easy Mandarin for Beginners and found it to be like the title suggests, Super Easy. Those of you who've been wanting to learn Mandarin for a while, you can take the plunge with Skillshare. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Celebrity news now, and I have just the one thing for you guys. Here is a January 3rd Sina article entitled, Xiao Chan shares his letter to Gu Yiye. It was an honor to experience Ace Troop's military years. Xiao Chan stars in the currently streaming military drama, Ace Troops. In it, he plays Gu Yiye, a knowledgeable new recruit who hails from a family of military members. Yesterday, Xiao Chan shared this on his personal Weibo, a letter to his character. In the letter, he recounts the experience of playing Gu Yiye. 
He revealed that he was worried that Guiye's persistence and actions might not be accepted by viewers, so he discussed and explored again and again with the director so that he could have a deeper understanding of the character. He also said it was an honor to borrow half your life, to experience Ace Troop's military years. Military dramas aren't really my thing, so I haven't been following the drama. Those of you who have been, what do you think of it so far? And on that note, it's Tuesday today, so time for another segment of Where's Mark Is At? So the title of the drama doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. I'm currently following just the one drama. I'm on episode 21 of Sword Snow Stride, starring Zhang Ruoyun and Li Gengxi. As I've said in previous episodes, I'm very impressed with this drama. It's one of the best I've seen in a while. And one of the things I love about this drama is its characters and their interactions with each other. Zhang Ruoyun is great as this adventurous and witty prince. And so is his father, played by Hu Jun, who's supposed to be this feared by many warlord, but you could never tell by his interactions with his son. This is the first drama I've seen of Li Gengxi, and I think she's just terrific. Another character I want to see more of is Vengo Gao's. He hasn't appeared much so far, but I hope he eventually will. I'm following the drama on YouTube where it's available with English subs. And that's been another segment of Where's Mark Is At? Before I let you guys go, I want to give a big virtual hug to Catherine A. Uribe, who recently became a patron on my Patreon. Thank you for your support, Catherine. And that brings us to the end of this episode. If you want to check out the Untamed t-shirt or other Chinese drama merchandise, there's a link to it in the description box below. And this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers! <laughs>